Now let's create another event for the yellow ball so that if the ball hits the wall, it bounces back. So the first thing that we need to do is look into your tree, double click on object yellow ball, and we would see our first event that we created. Now we're going to click on add event button and now we want to detect a collision so we are going to create an event for collision. So select collision and the yellow ball is colliding with the wall so I'm going to select object wall. Now what happens if the yellow ball collides with the wall? Now let's take a look at the jump actions in here. The action for bounce, that means if the ball is hitting the wall, it should bounce back. So this is bounce. I'm going to track this and drop it in my actions panel. I'll keep the same standard settings. Applies to self, precise, not precisely, against solid objects, and I would press OK. Now that I created a collision event, that means if my yellow ball is colliding with the wall, it should bounce back. Press OK. Now let's do some testing and see if my collision detection event works correctly or not. I'm going to click on Run. Yes. As as soon as the ball hits the wall, it's bouncing back. 